I'm here with Fayette County's longtime chief prosecutor, Ray Larson, to introduce a new weekly segment here on ABC 36 News. We call it Straight Talk with Ray the DA. Now, you've always been outspoken. You've always been opinionated. Last I checked, you retired after nearly 32 years in office last September. So what are you doing here? That's what my wife said. <laughs> uh, well, just because I retired, Tom, doesn't mean I... I've quit being interested in public safety. I've spent an entire career as a prosecutor, and the last 32 of which has been Fayette's Commonwealth Attorney. And I'm concerned about uh, public safety. The crime rate's going up, and the legislators in Frankfurt seem to have forgotten about the idea that public safety is job one for them and they're real busy trying to make sure that nobody goes to prison or jail. And I, I want to talk about those kind of issues and um, I'm glad to be here. This is a great opportunity to continue to bellyache as I've done <laughs> over the years. Well, we're glad to give you that forum. We yeah. want to show you some of the topics that we're going to be covering in the weeks and months ahead including a public safety overview with Mayor Jim Gray of Lexington. Oh, he's, uh, he's very concerned about the same things I am, and he's done a great job putting together a public safety team. And when the crime rate's going up, listen, the police can't do it all. They can't be everywhere, so that will deal with that. Also, reflections of prosecutors and former prosecutors, specifically former U.S. Attorney Kerry Harvey, who yep. just left office with the change in administration. He, he did leave office, and he's perfectly capable now of telling us what he really thinks, and he has said he will, so that'll be interesting. Folks, you really want to look forward to this one. Cost of crime versus cost of incarceration. Wait until you see statistics from Ray Larson on that. Then police shootings. Shoot, don't shoot. It's a split-second decision that can have life-and-death consequences and the public often thinks that's easy for a law enforcement officer to make. They always think that, but it is a very difficult decision, and we'll hopefully we'll be able to, to use the, the system they have to determine whether or not you shoot or you don't shoot somebody. Of course, the scourge of heroin making headlines daily, what to do about that. Treatment of crime victims by the courts. You have always been outspoken about this your entire time in office. I'm a great supporter of crime victims who are treated pretty shabbily by our court system. Um, you know, they just think that the, the bad guys win and the good guys lose, and I don't disagree with them. We often hear about victims of crime feel like they are, they're victimized twice, once by the perpetrator, once by the court system. And then by the parole board, and then by the parole board again. Yeah, it's, it's big time issues and, and some of the things I'm really interested in talking about. Ray also wants to hear from you. What do you want to know about? What segments would you like to see? You can email him. We invite you to do that. The address is very easy to remember. Ray, the DA at gmail.com. Ray, looking forward to it. And here's what I can tell you. Sometimes you'll agree with him. Sometimes he will anger you. But I promise you this, every week, you will learn something, and he's going to make you think. Straight Talk with Ray the DA. It will air Sunday nights at 11, then Mondays on Good Morning Kentucky, and on our news at 5. Ray, we look forward to it. Great. Looking forward to it, Tom. The opinions expressed in this segment are not necessarily those of the management and staff of ABC 36.